getting free TV. We're going to continue to bring in the secrets, do's, don'ts, you name it. Pass it along to your fishing buddy. You're going to catch more fish. Bobby from Getting Free TV, we're back here and we're going to be talking about casting surface jigs again. And not any one particular surface jig, just casting jigs, period. We're going to talk a little bit about iron because I have a surface iron tied onto my rod today. Here's, here's what's going on and I see in casting surface jigs with so many anglers. Okay, there's some mistakes being made and they can be fixed so that you can make longer cast, less backlashes and catch more fish. We're going to start off with what I see on a sport boat so many times. The boat is on its way out and you're paying to go on a fishing boat. When I say sport boat, this is a, a, a fishing boat carrying passengers. You pay to go on and you're on your way out to the spot and the captain gets on the loudspeaker and says, there's fish up here off the port side of the boat. And what happens, your heart starts beating, you grab your fishing rod and it's like you're darn near out of breath before you even start fishing. So first thing I see, there's five guys standing at the side of the boat. Muscles are all tensed up, ready to cast. And just that alone will make you make a mistake. It makes you cast too hard, which will make you backlash. It'll make you tangle. Many, many problems happen. Let me tell you another thing about casting surface jigs. When you're in the back of the boat and your boat is anchored, there's what's called current. We all know the lines go off the back of the boat. Somebody who's casting a surface jig, okay, when I say casting a surface jig, that means you're pitching it out into the water towards guys that are fishing bait on the boat and their lines are draped off the back. You cast your jig right in the middle of those lines. It's swimming in. Well, guess what? This three prong hook's gonna grab onto about eight fishing lines. You have eight guys rather mad at you, okay? When you're fishing a casting jig on a boat like that or even your own private boat and guys are fishing bait, you always wanna move towards the front of the boat, cast out to the side, the current will automatically take your lure towards the back, which will allow you to put your reel into gear and start winding your jig and not collect the guys behind you. Extremely important. There's just no reason for it. Okay, regarding visual, visual and casting jigs. We're on the anchor, we're fishing, there's birds flying around. All of a sudden, all the birds gang up over here off the left-hand side of the boat. Well, guess what? That's where I want to put my jig because that's where the fish are. Why am I going to keep casting over here where nothing's going on? I see it. 10 guys are over here casting, catching nothing. And because I'm looking out with a clean set of polarized glasses, I see a couple splashes and some birds. I pitch my cast over there and I wind. Guess who hooks up? Me. Tell you what, it's just a lot of years of fishing, not practicing my mistakes. Keep an eye on the guy on board the boat is catching the fish. Repeat what he's doing. Okay, I'm going to go to the cast now. Super, super important about taking a deep breath. You got to start with taking a deep breath. If you don't, you're going to mess up. Okay, regarding distance wise, it is not important that you cast the far, you be the, the a guy that's casting farthest on board the boat. A good smooth cast with no backlash is what we're looking for. Okay, here is a way to get a backlash. When you start your cast with only this much line hanging off the top and your heart's beating and those birds are out there and I go to whip that cast with just no line like that. I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see this in the video. But that jig just whips so fast that I'm going to throw a line drive and it's not going to go very far. By me allowing line to come down allows me to get a swing on my jig, which I like what's called a pendulum. And I'm going to swing the jig. As it's swinging out, I get a lot of loft and I go ahead and cast. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. Super, super important. I've taken a deep breath. I know where the birds are at. I've allowed some line to come off my rod. I'm going to give it a swing. I'm going to get a nice big loop. Watch my jig. The minute it hits the water, I bury my thumb into my spool to stop it. If I don't, look what happens. Backlash. Okay. Super, super important. When I'm throwing eyeballs on the jig, the minute it hits the water, bam, stop. Throw it in gear. I start bringing it in. Surface iron do's and don'ts. You pay to go fishing. You're out there having a good time. Why not double your catch? Okay, pay attention to what you're doing. Don't backlash. Let some more line. Get that angle. Be the better angler on board. Getting free TV. Surface iron don'ts.